I want to do it right. <laughs> or just call them and say, guess what? I did a great job. I'm so glad that I tuned into HSN and met that woman. We have next for you the paper painting kit that comes with a DVD, that comes with the 36-page book, that comes with the matching brushes, that comes with the papier paint, yeah. nine bottles. So what is this about, and who would be your perfect audience? Okay, anybody out there who wants to paint their cards, their scrapbooking pages, their wrapping paper, any kind of paper crafting, and there's really good reasons for using this paint. The thing you're going to love about it is it doesn't take and stick to each other as you're putting cards into envelopes. Scrapbooking pages don't stick to each other. It's amazing how well this paint does and, and the beauty that you're going to get from one nice stroke with you with this, okay? Now, let me tell you the difference about everything every kit. The difference about every kit is what type of surface we want to paint. I've got great paints for that. We have eight of these bottles of paint, which is a ton of paint, and a medium so that you don't use water. You're going to use this medium with it instead of the water. That's not white, okay? It dries clear. Then I've got specialty brushes. What you're going to love about these brushes, I have a bonus on these brushes. Not only, see they've got a dark green tip on them, not only are these great for the stiffer paint that we're going to use here, you need a stiffer brush, but not only that, but these brushes are perfect fabric brushes. Mm. So if you want to paint on fabric and then you really work it in, you can use the brushes I gave you the kit, but these are even if you want to even be better, okay? So that's a little bonus. DVD, one hour DVD. Let me tell you the best thing I think about this DVD. If you are out there saying, I can't even do stick figures, I am not a painter. I might scrapbook, I might do, want to do cards, but I'm not a painter. I have the whole first section of this teaching you how to do things if you don't paint at all. Okay? And then we, get, we expound to a lot, lot, lot more. And then my book. And what I want you to see about the workbook, Judy, look mm. at this. When we're looking at this workbook, I want you to see, look at this. There's clear plastic to lay on top to do your strokes. Okay. But look at this. You can see the 3D effect, so you know exactly... Yeah. I have now stroked this in, mm -hmm. okay, now I'm going to take my dimensional bottle of paint and I'm going to go around that design, look right here. So you can come over here and practice right on top of here, you practice right along this edge. So you know and what see. it feels like, know what it looks right. like. Right, and so before you go to your paper you won't mess up, you're practicing right. right here. You wipe it off and you practice again. Now if we come over here, let me show you again the loading of the brush. Okay. Now when we're loading this brush, this is what we do. We're using our double loader. We're going to come in here, let's get purple and white. We're going to pick two colors up, can they see it doing work it in. There thing. you go. There we go. By the way, remember, this is available. This you can is get that in that whole three paint paint caddy, three piece paint caddy and tool set. And this is what Donna uses everywhere. It's well, such know, a nice way to be able to mix your colors and use your brushes. It helps in there. control you because over the, over the years everybody says my strokes are muddy. How yeah. come yours aren't? How come yours okay. are defined? Right. As, and so I found a way to create a caddy so that you can do that yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now look. That, that's the divisions in the caddy that right. allow you. To One do stroke that. painting means you blend shade and highlight in each stroke. Now you saw I didn't like my stroke. I picked that fresh paint. I went and stroked right back over it. Uh -huh. So then we're going to come in here and say I want to make the body in here. So I'm going to take and watch this. I'm going to zigzag. Okay. And pull and then touch pull. Touch, pull, we have our antennas. And that's it. Okay, if I want yellow around these edges, watch And you can do it all right one on top of another. Exactly. It's like at a nail salon. When they do one coat, they go right back and do another exactly. coat right over. They don't wait for the first coat to dry exactly. just like you're not. By that's the way, what I everybody, love. this is available on two flex pays. That's wonderful. This is the wonderful. first time that this has been available in $15.63 increments. So we can split it up for you on a credit card, give you an opportunity for that first month to try it for $15, see how good you are, see how easy it is, see how see much this? you get for it, and then the other payment's not due until the following month, see 30 this? days later. You can put this on top of colored paper to see if you're going to like that design on that color paper. And if you like the size, or you like yeah. the colors that you used. Now one of the other paints I love in here is this glitter paint. And it is, it's called Disco Glitter. It's my favorite. Mm. And now here's a gift I, bag I made for a wedding and all I do and you can go the thing that you're gonna love about this you can get gift wrapping that already has a design on it mm -hmm. and you can go and dimensionalize Enhance it right exactly that's a perfect word listen to you <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the phones again okay. while you're finishing up your little bridal bag hi Rosemary from New Jersey please say hello to Donna 
Hi, Donna. Hi, Judy. How are you? Hey. Great. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice meeting you. I've been watching the show, and I've watched it before, and was always very hesitant about ordering because I'm a klutz when it comes to anything. Yes. But my girlfriend, Judy, called me up and said, Rosemary, you must order at least the beginner set, Did and you? she would help me with it. Oh, oh nice. so you got that mega kit, the beginner mega kit? Yes. She uh, She's a nice artist, and... Um, she said, I'll help you with it. I have arthritis in my hands, but she said you could do it anyway. You can. You has can. she ever bought a Donna Dewberry kit? Is oh, that? yes. Oh, okay. She has. She's a, she's a very good artist, but she loves the one-stroke painting. Yeah. yeah. So um, she has uh, done yours, and she loves it. And what we both like to do, which she's done for me a lot, was paint on fabric. I love Things. Oh, uh, did you see my golden glitz and my jacket I'm wearing? <laughs> I certainly did, and I fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I hope wanted... you have a grand time painting. I know it'll be fun for you. And oh, thank you. I, I hope I learn as well as, uh, as anybody does. You know I'm what, honey, what I love about it? I love that you're going to have your own look. I love that you can have all the tools that you have when you open up your kit, and you're going to feel comfortable, and you don't have to go to the store and buy anything to just get dive into it and start creating. And I, you know what? You're going to love that it's going to be your own look. You can tell us one stroke before, before you're going to take a bag and after. you're going to turn it into something look at beautiful. That, the same bag before. I know. It's beautiful. Right? And I love Inspiring. the things you do with children's clothing, too. Wasn't sure. that cute? In do the you have grandbabies? Fabrics. Yes, I have grandbabies. Don't you love it? Yes, I do. <laughs> Enjoy the it. kids. And thank you for the phone call, Rosemary. Oh, and thank and you so much. Tell for your Judy work. we're happy that you called yes, and that she let you know. We're both from uh, New Jersey, Whiting, New Jersey. All right. And we love it. Good. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Happy thank holidays. You. Same to you, Dick. Bye bye. Okay, let me show you a little trick here. Okay. All we right. love tricks of the trade. This, what, what you do with the bottle, look at this with the bottle of paint. We gotta go real close. There you go. What you do is you take your finger on here, you pop it open. Okay. All right. And then you just squeeze out your paint. Oops. All right, see, I squoze out. Where am I? You squoze. There. I squoze way too much. All right, then I put it back in here, and then I can go do my dimensional yeah, work. Yeah, you still have so, a finite detail. Because if you squeeze it, guys, it's a little oh, teeny little squeeze, and, okay. that, and I have no patience, so I don't want to so do that. So these are little tricks. I'm working on patience. Use. I'm working on patience, <laughs> but it's not there yet. So what are you going to do now? I want to show you a rose, and if you're out there saying, I'm not a painter, mm -hmm. I want you to see that when we get through here, watch this. We're going to go scrub and pull. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I can go right and back go over it. it. Oh, it's still dark. Look at this. I go right up. back up. Now, let me show you that what we're doing is we're picking up paint and we continue to work around petal after petal. They handle the brush straight up and down. And you know what part of it is? I want you to, to know that when I'm doing this, I've had financial problems in my life with seven children. Can you imagine? I've had my daughter pass away at 23 for no reason. Her heart just quit. I've had teenage problems. Oh, bad teenage problems. You got four teenagers at one. Give, once, give me a break. And they're girls. I mean, you know, I'm like, ah. So imagine having pain from uh, physical pain, God forbid, and all these things that happen while you're painting just for a little bit, you forget about your woes. Mm -hmm. And I want you to think about that. If you could lose yourself into creating, when you're creating and making the world a little bit more beautiful, you feel beautiful inside. And it gives you a fresh new outlook on life. And sometimes in the morning, I'm always fresh and life's beautiful. By the end of the day, I need some painting. You know? <laughs> I it's need like some a little painting. escape. It's like the ability for you to be creative. It's the design that you decide to use. But we have you every step of the way. So we right. have our teacher right there with us. We have the brushes that we need. We have the paints that we want to use. And all we need is to decide, gee, do we want to paint on fabric? Do we want to create greeting cards? Think about what one greeting card or even if you took that same amount of money and you went to a store, you'd be lucky to get five or six cards.